In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi remotely from another computer using the built-in VNC server in the Raspbian Jesse operating system. So this will be based off from the Raspbian Jesse with Pixel operating system, uh, kernel version 4.4. .4. Now if you already haven't installed that onto your micro SD card, uh, or have that uh, configured and ready to go on your Raspberry Pi, you'll want to do that before we continue. If you haven't already done that, I have a link that I will provide in the description that will give an in-depth tutorial on how you can go about installing that. So we will begin by booting up our Raspbian Jesse operating system. So your screen should look quite similar to this here. Now the first thing you'll want to do is change some settings. So you can go to Preferences and then go down to Raspberry Pi Configuration. And then go to Interfaces and then you'll see a section for VNC. Um, you'll want to enable that and then click OK. And then after that is completed you'll see that uh, this VNC server icon will be displayed up at the top. You can click on that. And then this here will show you what IP address you will need to connect to uh, in order to connect to your Raspberry Pi remotely. So after you have that IP address you'll have to install VNC Viewer on your host computer. So you could go ahead and head on over to realvnc.com and then you could download VNC Viewer on your computer uh, depending on what operating system you're running on there. Uh, I'm currently running Windows but I already have this installed so I'm not going to go through the process of downloading and installing that. Uh, but after you have that installed uh, we can continue on and then you can actually open up VNC Viewer which should look just like this and then you'll need to input your IP address which I just showed you which is, which is displayed right here so you'd enter that IP address followed by the port number to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So for Java enabled web browser users you would use 5800 as the port um, but uh, standard it's usually 5900 uh, so here we are going to use 5900 for the port and then after you have that in there you just click the connect button Then when you connect you should see a screen just like this of course you want to make sure that you're connected to a network first otherwise you won't actually be able to connect to your Raspberry Pi remotely this built-in feature for VNC server for the newer version of Raspbian makes it much easier to establish remote connections than the earlier versions Keep in mind though that if you plan on connecting remotely um, from another location you would actually be outside of uh, your private network. So if you planned on connecting to your Raspberry Pi from another location rather than your home network uh, you would actually have to use your public IP address rather than your private um, IP address as you can see here. And then you may have to adjust router settings uh, so that you could actually forward that port so that port 5900 you'd actually have to forward that through your router settings so that you could actually connect to it uh, from another location outside of the actual local network itself 